Fortnite Chapter 5 is on the brink of release, and now we have new item leaks, teasers, even a brand new vehicle, so this is everything we know about next season. Starting off with the biggest reveal we've had so far, the entire battle pass appeared on the Xbox store, revealing the official name to be Chapter 5 Season 1 Underground. But that's not all, we have also got a brand new look at the collabs, including Peter Griffin, yes! It is finally happening, and I cannot tell you how excited I am. There's also Solid Snake from Metal Gear Solid, meaning we are getting a total of two collabs in this pass. Along with them, there's also the brand new Underground Jones and five concept skins from the surveys. It'll feature a tiger, a woman that looks like Geno, Sword Duelist, the girl with the cat meme hat, and a diamond collector. The battle pass is looking pretty stacked, and there's all eight of them here, so one is a secret skin, and my bets are on Peter. In fact, Epic's already dropping teasers as we build up to the new chapter, focusing on the grand finale of the season, The Big Bang. They asked who's ready for round two as it showed the rocket from the first end event flying into the sky. Obviously, this time around, things are different. The rocket's glitching, all thanks to the time machine strapped on top. This is followed up by information from Epic that the event has flashing lights, and even if you don't have a history of photosensitivity, you may still feel dizzy or affected by the Big Bang. But with the second teaser, I'm not surprised. They're at this too long, and you might feel sudden urge to buy skins, maybe with code T5G, I'm just saying. Then our newest teaser shows Eminem rising from the stage, about to perform his concert. Now, Eminem's already in the shop with the ton of skins to choose from, but I'm more interested in the shop background. For some reason, it has a destroyed city with apocalyptic vibes. Either these are messed up clouds, or this whole thing is underwater. Maybe it's one of those places he performs at in the event, or maybe it's a part of the Chapter 5 island. For something that's confirmed, Epic's already testing the first major update of next chapter, and that includes Winterfest. Honestly, we've been so distracted with everything else happening this week that no one even thought about the holiday event this year. It'll be the final update of 2023, bringing the cabin back to the game, along with free cosmetics challenges, and holiday-themed weapons. There's also a leaked Jonesy skin that's rumored to appear in the event and be in the item shop for Chapter 5. It'll come with two variants, Cartoony with cell shading and Noir. The texture's already been leaked, showing a scarf, sweater, and jeans, and he's codenamed Underground Rebel. Whatever that means. Not the only NPC that'll appear. This is Speed Bonnie, an upcoming outfit that has a similar jacket to Underground Jonesy. She also has a scarf and satchel, leading people to theorize that this is our first look at the Chapter 5 default skins. It's just speculation, but honestly, I'm convinced. But now it is time for the most important leak yet, the Chapter 5 map. Fortnite accidentally left this image in the following the entire island, and honestly, it's simple and beautiful. It reminds a ton of people of Chapter 2, especially Season 1, where it felt like a completely new game, and the map was super green and full of life. Epic is doing this on purpose, though. This is meant to be a new version of the Chapter 2 map, since we're coming from the end event, except it'll have completely different POIs and areas to explore. In fact, we've already got every single named POI in the files. Here's the full list, but my personal favorites are a tennis club, a marina town, even a grand hotel that'll be hidden in the snowy mountains. And I better see an easter egg of the shining up there. Instead, you'll probably be taken by surprise when the new rift encounters show up. In chapter 5, we'll be exploring the island only for scrap knight jewels to appear out of nowhere with a dirt bike. Or maybe Stray will show up with two kinetic blades for you to grab. There's two others that are super mysterious, Sir Burger, which will appear with a shockwave hammer, and then one of them is codenamed Inventory Defaults, and literally no one knows what this means. And just maybe they'll have some of chapter 5's new exotics. For months, we've had plenty of unused weapons in the files that sound way too good. The Boogie Bob grenade launcher is going to cause a lot of damage, and so is the gas launcher. There's even items like a shotgun version of the flare gun, or a sniper rifle that attaches balloons to people. I have no idea why, but these sound like so much fun. I'll say personally, I'm looking most forward to the slug shotgun, or the rift pistol. Now, there is one thing we've been waiting for that could finally return in Chapter 5. It has been a long time since helicopters were in-game. They even added helipads to the map and never dropped them. But soon, they'll be releasing an updated version that has rocket launchers attached to it, making them more useful than ever before. We'll also see the return of cars, except these ones will be armored. It's a special version that's driven around the map by NPCs who will try their best to wipe you out as you can steal it from them. Originally, the armored car was leaked in May and it hasn't released since, making us wonder if it's actually been a Chapter 5 item this whole time. Maybe it's even for the Imagined Order's return. Another thing to look forward to is the winter update to box fight PvP. Snow has fallen from the air, what better way to celebrate than the new animated winter screen? There's a bunch of new stuff in games, so type in this map code or go to Best of UEFN to try it out. Our studio actually just got nominated for the Game Awards Best UEFN Map of the Year, so if you could walk over to Future Trash, you would really help me out by voting for him. Seriously, thank you so much to everyone who's been supporting us. But let's get to what you could expect in the first week of December. Fortnite X LEGO is scheduled for the 7th, and it's the biggest crossover we have ever had. I'm not exaggerating, it's basically a brand new open world game 
game that'll rival experiences like Minecraft and Terraria. We'll be able to play as an actual LEGO minifigure that's fully customizable, and Fortnite's even making LEGO versions of popular skins like Peely, Drift, and Aura. As an open world mode, we'll be able to do pretty much anything you want, whether it's crafting, building a town with our friends, even farming. There's an entire creative mode, but the main pool is survival, where you'll have your HP, stamina, bed system, it's pretty much Minecraft. If you want items, you'll either have to hunt them down from enemies, buy them from vendors, or find camps full of loot. For those like me who prefer to play solo, don't worry, because you can get a companion, and of course, you'll be able to pet it. They're not just throwing you in blind, though. Everyone gets to choose from adventurer, dreamer, explorer, and homesteader classes, which will give you a different starting experience. But over in Battle Royale, there will be plenty of reasons to stick to the main game island. Just follow the path from the station PUI, and it goes under tunnels and over bridges, and meaning it's gotta be a railroad. There will be other ways to get around, too. Grind rails are one of the coolest parts of the last few seasons and made mobility easier than ever. Well, good news, because they're confirmed to return on the Chapter 5 map alongside Augments. This is with a twist. Fortnite are working on legendary versions that'll be insanely overpowered. In fact, they might actually be too strong, but here's what we know. They'll let us instantly reboot a teammate without going to a van. Some will unlock Siphon, and my personal favorite increases your total shield, the first time this has ever been possible in BR. There is a leak I recently talked about that has some new information, which nobody saw coming. These default skins were discovered in the files, and we assume they were for the racing mode. It might still happen, but in a new hotfix, they were renamed to F1 Racers. Yeah, it's a secret collab with Formula One, which could mean that F1 cars are coming to the racing mode. So what exactly is that? Well, this is yet another huge crossover that is dropping with Chapter 5, Rocket League Racing. There are dozens of racetracks to choose from as we get to battle other players in a Mario Kart-style minigame. Sounds cool, but it is way bigger than that, with a range of customizable cars and free cosmetics in a battle pass. We'll also be able to import our garage over from Rocket League for those of us who have a huge collection. And it turns out that Epic have already revealed what to expect in their secret employee merch. Every single year, they give out pins to developers with a theme of the season, and for Chapter 5's Christmas pin, it has a lot to unpack. It's the Epic Games logo surrounded by the contents of the Big Bang. Rocket League, Unreal Engine, Fortnite Festival, Lego, Fall Guys, it's insane. Although it's missing one of the next crossovers, Doctor Who. In between December and January, the 14th and 15th Doctor will join the item shop, along with the battle pass full of cosmetics. You'll be able to buy a TARDIS glider or a psychic paper emote, and it gets even better because two mythic weapons are in the works, which sound incredible. Now, this is pretty strange, but Epic recently updated a Marvel item during the OG season. For some reason, Wolverine's claws were re-added, which could mean they're getting remixed in Chapter 5. But one of the simplest changes could be the best thing to happen to Fortnite in years. Next season could include consumables that only use what you need, so if you're only short on a few HP, you don't have to use a whole med kit. It'll let you use only a portion of it, kind of like ammo. It's been leaked for a while now, so we'll have to see if they go through with it. Fingers are crossed. So that's confirmed for next chapter is a new UI change. I know, I know, we're all sick of Fortnite changing the UI over and over again. I mean, come on, look at the new username font, it's hideous. But this next update might be good. They're redesigning the locker for the first time in years, and there's mixed opinions, but we'll have to see the final product before we judge. Now, earlier, you might have heard me mention the Fortnite Festival, and you're probably wondering, oh, what the heck is that? Well, this is the third huge mode coming in Chapter 5. There's also a range of weapons in the works for Chapter 5, and they sound ridiculous. A backpack minigun. Honestly, I have no idea what's so special about this, but in the league gameplay, it seems like a regular old minigun. Maybe it doesn't use an inventory slot or something, but at least we'll figure out what the smart SMG does. If you remember the lock-on pistol from Season 2, it's gonna be similar, but obviously way more overpowered. We also might be able to customize existing weapons with mods. Epic has been working on an extra inventory slot right next to materials and traps that'll hold a weapon attachment, letting us improve accuracy, recoil, or zoom level whenever we want. So if you're the kind of person who loves playing competitively, make sure to complete at least one OG rank quest. We're literally days away from the end of the season, and you cannot miss out on this. If you've done that, once Chapter 5 drops, you'll learn a competitor's time umbrella for free. That's everything we know. Hope you